Welcome Libra to your activation. Okay Libra, um, so we're going to do your activation at the end of the video, so please stick around for that, okay? Um, and if there's any active, other activations that uh, you see posted, I'll be doing one a day. So um, yeah, if you're drawn to it, even if it's not your zodiac sign or um, the placements are not in your birth chart, just do it. You know, because your soul um, may very well feel the need for it, okay? And you might not understand why. The other thing, Libra, is that even if the um, messages initially don't particularly resonate with you, still do the, the activation, okay? Because there'll be some reason why you need this. Okay, so we are using, for the activations, Work Your Light Oracle, and I've specifically picked out the activation cards for this. Okay, Sacred Spirit Reading Cards is what we'll be using to find out why or, you know, what's surrounding this for you. And the Light Seer Tarot, we will be using for clarification so okay let's get started here libra open intuition seek clarification open intuition seek clarification i feel as though libra that it's important for you that um because i feel like there could be information coming at you from all directions, okay? And it's important for you to decipher um, or even be discerning about what it is that you're receiving, okay? Because this can impact your vibration. The other thing I want to say is with um, anything that might happen for you, try to not use your mind to as intuition like actually drop down into your gut um, but I want to say drop down into your heart um, more so and then kind of like see what you get from that okay for some of you I feel like maybe there could be a bit of mistaking your your um thoughts as intuition because it makes sense to you as opposed to how it feels okay um not even how it feels just that you know you know libra you've had times where you just know as opposed to yeah i think so i think that's about right right so i would really check out things that are coming up for you and make sure it's a deep knowing and try not to just convince yourself if that it is you because you know the difference okay okay so open intuition tell me more about this for libra please oh, almost flipped over changed its mind <laughs> it was like no that's definitely i don't know that i want to come out so i will review that <laughs> okay open intuition here we go is that, no, too many cards, two cards, two cards for Libra please, open intuition, see, need to be clear about these things, here's one, whoop, whoop, two of wands, yeah, see, this is pondering, this is like, uh, uh, unsure, not really too sure, you know, and if there's a decision that you need to make, um, I would really tap into your in intuition, um, and if you're like, oh, I think I'll go this way, but I'm not really too sure, then I would definitely not um, go that way. Okay, Six of Swords. Six of Swords. I get so much different stuff from this card. It's just, wow, blows my mind. It's really interesting because she's on, on rocky waters, on stormy waters, but she's actually standing in the boat holding the suitcase. She's not having to balance herself in this storm. She's balanced, right? And because I feel like she knows the direction that she needs to head in. There's no doubt about that. She knows it because she's checked it out with her intuition. So, you know, the, the thoughts that then come in are 
which way should I, you know, like, I need to do this, I need to do this, I need to do that. But there's no doubt about it. She is absolutely sure that she is going in the right, right direction. Okay. Um, spirit messages, observe limitations. I feel like for you, Libra, it's your mind that's putting limitations upon you. And you need to observe these things. If you ever feel limited, like you can't do anything, or if there's fear involved, then you need to really um, make sure that you are um, really looking into those, okay? Um, hang on, Libra. Sorry about that, Libra. I just had to sneeze. Okay, right, as we were. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like you really need to... Um, I feel like you need to clear your thoughts out. It's sort of like a little bit like overthinking in a sense, and it's as though... With any decision that needs to be made, it's like this a flitting in between, well, this could happen, and what if that happened? And, blah, 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 blah. and it's a matter of coming in here. And, um, you know, also looking at Libra, what is your mission? What is your soul path? What takes you closer to that? And what takes you away from that type of thing, right? Um, yeah, uh, we have the Seven of Wands here. Oh, I really love this. I love this card. Because you see, Libra, these these ones here, it's like they're coming up at this person, right? They're coming at this person, but she's actually so um, in the moment of being in her heart that these don't impact her. They don't have an impact whatsoever, okay? The only other thing, uh, okay, the other thing I want to say about this, though, Libra, is that some of you are ignoring your intuition. Because there's something you want, or there's a direction you want to go in, and, and your intuition is screaming at you to say, don't go that way, and you're like, I hear nothing. I know the way I want to go. Okay, um, and maybe this is what this is about, because normally in this... Um, card uh the stormy waters are behind her and she's actually in the stormy waters so libra pay attention to your intuition okay have faith have faith um because this could be a path that you're already traveling down because we're on the seven of wands here so this could be a path that you're on and something is calling you to change direction and uh you don't want to listen don't want to listen there's something this is fear-based though I feel like this is fear-based and I feel as though that um, by not listening is not helping with your growth and I feel as though for some of you it's this it's kind of like a bit of um, staleness I guess or I want to say stuckness but it's not stuckness it's staleness it's like this familiar feeling it's it's comfortable right soul fragments balance will be restored maybe it is the case for you libra that you want to stay on this path because because of the safety aspect of it and it could very well be that you feel like you know you need a change, but you don't want to make the change because when changes happen, happen before, it's potentially not had the best outcome. Um, the other thing I want to say here is to, just a few things from this card here. I feel like your thoughts are setting your head on fire. Okay, I feel like they're dominating over how you feel. Um, some of you need to release any emotions that you hold within in your heart 
from potential heartbreak, from being hurt about something. Some of you um, have been hurt about something because of the way you've thought about it or the way you've viewed it or your perspective on it. And you haven't, you've refused to look at it in any other way, even though there's lots of options for you to look at it in other ways, but you refuse to see it in any other way. Some of you, Libra, can be a little bit stubborn in that regard. Nope, that's how it is, and that's how it is. Um, so I do want to say to be more open-minded in the sense of considering different points of view or different, you know, it could have been this or it could have been that, you know. Um, yeah, the wheel, the wheel. <laughs> Look at this. This is this is definitely, we've got the full and the wheel. So the world, sorry, the world, the wheel, the world. Um, so, yeah, it's like something's come to an end, man. Uh, but I want to say with the soul fragments here, make sure that you call back any soul fragments that you've left along the way. And even throughout this lifetime and past lifetimes, call them back into yourself so you can continue so that the 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 circle can be completed and closed off completely, okay, in order for you to begin this new journey, to have faith, um, because I feel like maybe these missing fragments are what are making you afraid from jumping on a new journey here, okay, uh, because not everything has been called back in, very interesting, I'm sure there's meditations on YouTube here at Libra that you'll be able to access, you know, Calling in those soul fragments. Nine of Cups. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wishes fulfilled. Wishes fulfilled. So interesting. This is what you want for your life. Um, I would just not become complacent here. I would make sure that you do take the steps that are required to collect your last cup okay this is all your dreams come true but it's not the 10 so yeah it's just this could even just be one more step that you need to make here and you may be like no this is everything i ever wanted and i'm fine i don't need anything else but there actually is one more thing or or one more area if you look at the cups as areas or lessons, or whatever that you need to learn um, along the way uh, that you're collecting, then, yeah, there's just one more, okay? <laughs> but I just keep getting drawn to this, like, no, I'm not listening. No, there's not. I'm fine with my nine cups. Thank you very much. I don't need ten. I'm fine with nine. <laughs> Mindful wisdom, create inner harmony. Very nice. I like this mindful wisdom, and this is the thing, right? Is um is 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 clearing this kind of like thinking here, um, to, so that you can get into this mindfulness, so that your intuition can become clear as day. Because at the moment there's um. No, it's just kind of like it's a bit of debris around this connection to your intuition for some reason. This could be from past hurts as well, you know, or, you know, not wanting to see another perspective from someone else. Okay. Um, yeah, I feel like there's, you know, Nine of Pentacles, wow, Nine of Pentacles even. Look at this, see, she knows, she knows how to grow her, her pentacles, right? She's standing there, man, she, she absolutely knows how to do that. But again, there's one pentacle yet to be got. And she knows that, though. That's the thing, she knows that. And, and it's kind of like, if you look at this pentacle here, it's growing. She's growing it. She knows that this is going to lead to the next pentacle, pentacle being grown but she's she is and she's okay with that and she also knows the work behind growing that last pentacle because sometimes that can be the most challenging okay and so 
yeah I, I don't know I feel like there's something some of you want to ignore though there's just something that you want to ignore I just wonder because this see this feels quite heavy as well and um, yeah okay anyway give me one more card for mindful wisdom it's like the six of swords it's like she left something but with a heavy heart it's kind of like whereas yeah like it's it's not easy to do you know but it's kind of like something has been brought with you that hasn't been cleared see here's this pentacle right this is the last pentacle okay and it's sort of like this person is just like i'll just wait for it to grow i'm not doing it i don't need to do anything because i've got nine i don't need to do anything but you do actually need to do something here libra but there's this sense of ignoring again i've got the pentacle i don't need to do anything it's fine there's no effort there's no effort being put in which is super interesting the queen of swords The Queen of Swords, she knows her truth. She knows the truth. She's not afraid to face the truth. She's not afraid to face the truth of what's inside of her. Okay. Um, I think sometimes we can make a bit of a um, mistake of believing that we stand in our truth or that we're tr facing the truth of who we are. But sometimes what can happen, happen Libra, is that we can believe we're facing the truth of who we are, but we also ignore the things that we really do not want to see. Okay, and, um, and, and these are the things that we do want to move away from, but they actually come with us until we resolve them, right? So, um, and, and what happens is they do limit us, okay? They keep us in... In, in, in a state where we can't actually rise up and grow, okay? Like, it's like we get to the Nine of Cups and it's like, yep, I'm done, um, but we're not willing to go the extra mile to get to the 10 because we're like, I don't need to do anything else. But the fact of the matter is that all through our lives, we will always be growing. We will always, you know, we can never know everything. We can never um, have stopped doing what it is we need to do to improve ourselves, Okay, interestingly enough, the other thing that's coming up for me here is perfectionism. Okay, so be aware of this. Um, dark night of the soul. Life brings new meaning. Yeah, this is real interesting that this has come up now. It's like this dark night of the soul. It feels like Libra. You ignored the dark night of the soul until you got through it and pretended it wasn't there, which is bizarre to me because I don't know quite how you do that. <laughs> Unless you've been through this dark night of the soul and there's just a little bit more that needs to be done and it hasn't been done and you're like, oh, I'm done with that. I'm hard enough now. Um... I don't know. I don't know. Let's have a look, though. Dark Knight of the Soul. It's like, how many cards is that? No, too many. Two cards. Believe the please. The Dark Knight of the Soul. Very interesting. Perfectionism. What was I saying before about perfectionism? Being aware of this. This could be... This could be the part of ourselves that we don't want to look at. This could be something that we put in the shadows. Perfectionism could be holding us back, right? Trying to do it perfectly. For some people, not being able to do it perfectly, so won't do it at all, right? Perfectionism. This is something I feel like, Libra, to look at for yourself, to look at in your life and how perfectionism plays a role in your life. Okay, 
and and be honest with yourself be completely honest with yourself you know so two cards please for libra for dark night of the soul tell me more about this for libra dark night of the soul libra one <laughs> okay ten of wands burden carrying this burden What burden are you carrying, Libra, that you don't want to put down? Five of Wands. Wow, this is really taking a bit of a turn. Or has it? Five of Wands. Okay. Dark Night of the Soul. This, this is the last one. This is the last thing. There's some sort of baggage that you're still carrying with you that you don't want to put down. Um, and it's like pettiness. I feel like pettiness is what I'm getting. Um, it's kind of like some of you want to just do it easily. It's like there's, I don't know, I, I don't know, there's something about this. It's like you feel like you just chuck it on the fire and it will burn, it will be fine, but it's not quite that easy. Um, the other thing I want to say is that these people, it's kind of like these people here that are trying to help you, but all you're doing is standing on their wands to get up there and burn it down. So it's like, I can take care of it. It's fine. I don't need your help. That, that kind of thing. But yet, there's still a burden that you carry. This is very, very interesting. Meditation. Improvements require persistence. Improvements require persistence. So it's sort of like, do you know what? It's sort of like needing to sort through all the baggage. To work out what you can take with you, what's going to serve you, and what doesn't. Okay, there's some things, there's there's some things in this baggage labor that you no longer you don't need. Okay, and you've carried it with you for maybe a really long time and now it's weighing you down, but you don't I don't know if you don't want to look at it. Maybe you're not aware of it. Maybe you need to observe your limitations to see where it is in the luggage that you need to, you know, find it. Maybe you still yet to find it. Okay, maybe this meditation will help. So rather than having a meditation to say, escape, I want to say, or tap into the intuition, maybe you use the meditation to tap in to your dark night of the soul because this is where this baggage resides. It's in the dark night of the soul, okay? And um, it's so interesting because this here, it to me now represents the dark night of the soul and it's like just trying to set fire to it to get rid of it. <laughs> it's not going to happen, Libra. Needs to be addressed. Meditation. Meditation. The other thing with this seven of wands here is I feel like this is kind of saying, you know, this, all these people have these wands here and it's like saying, well, that's them with their wands. That's nothing to do with me. But I feel like there's some contribution from you. Um, I don't know. It's sort of like some, well, something needs to be addressed. That's what I'm getting from that. And the wands are there poking at you, trying to help you, not to annoy you or not to... To, it's sort of like for some of you Libras you put yourself on a pedestal and it's kind of like and I don't mean this cruelly it's like right thinking that you're or feeling like you've risen up so high that you're up on this level and others are down here but it's actually not the case there's that judgment in a sense, which is, is judgment, right? Something that could be worked on. Here we go. Two of swords. Not seeing, not seeing what it is 
that you need to work on. Not really wanting to see it either, quite frankly. And the wheel, turning that around. See, uh, funny the wheel came out now after the world. Um, turning that around, okay, um, so that you can actually, um, yeah, see this come out too. See things from a different perspective. Okay, Libra, because um, it's like, yes, I'm up here. I'm up here now. I'll never be back down here. But guess what? The wheel keeps turning. It will always turn. It never stops turning. And sometimes we're up on top of the wheel and sometimes we're down here. It doesn't mean anyone's higher or at a better level, higher level than anyone else. It just means that we're going with the change, you know. So if nothing's changing and everything's staying the same for you, then, you know, there's things that need to be looked at and addressed. Okay, Libra? Um, and seeing things from a different perspective. So, Libra, now we get to the exciting part with the activation. Okay, so I'll just give these a shuffle. Oh, forgot one there. Okay. Split those. Okay. Awakening. Energetic upgrades. A new way of being. Integration. Wow. This feels like some kind of surrender, you know. Anyway, let's have a look here. I wrote it on my computer because otherwise, like the writing's so small in the book, I don't want to be straining to see. Where are we here? Okay, here we go. Awakening. So I'm going to read the meaning, Libra, and then we're going to do the activation, okay? Okay, you are going through a period of awakening. Things are changing within you and at many levels. You are starting to remember ancient truths and discovering more and more about who you are and why you incarnated. You may find that you are experiencing past life flashbacks, seeing the invisible thread that is woven through all of life or even feeling kundalini shakti rise throughout through your body from the base of your spine. The most important thing for this time is not to overthink it and stay grounded. Share your experiences with like-souled like soul people while you consciously integrate them. Journal and pay attention to your dreams. You are remembering and your soul gifts are emerging. During this time of transition and awakening, you may be called to devote yourself to a being of to, sorry, to devote yourself to being of service. There are ideas, truths, concepts, books and creations waiting to be birthed into this world. You, oh, sorry, stay open to receiving them. Yes, Libra, stay open. Um, pulling this card m may be a sign that you are here to birth one of these creations into the world. Or perhaps you are being called to make a shift in your life in order to be of service. Don't think too much about it. Instead, repeat the following work your light activation. Okay, Libra, yeah, see this could be this veering off the path that you thought you were on and you don't want to do that. You don't want to make that change, but this is necessary, right? Um, and it feels like your soul knows this and is screaming at you. Okay, um, so awakening. Here we go, Libra. So put your hand on your heart and repeat after me out loud. Okay, I surrender to my awakening. I allow the Shakti energy to rise from the base of my spine. I open myself up to the universe using me in a way that delights my mind, body and spirit. 
Excellent, Libra. So come back and do this every day, Libra, okay, so that you can start to get comfortable with this change happening, okay. Um, and yeah, um, I do feel like you will um, start to get a bit more used to the idea of maybe going on a different path here. Um, yeah, so Libra, please um, share this video and like and subscribe and comment about how this may have um, related for you or what changes you are noticing happening in your life. Okay, Libra, take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.